Alrighty guys, we are back with another uh, good old Roblox Studio tutorial. Basically what this is, is that can you make a no duplicate giver game pass? I can't even say that name, Talal 65 k I don't know what those are with the little smiley face CG. Basically what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you guys how to check for, to check to see if a player has a game pass, which is basically a built-in function on Roblox. And on top of that, we're gonna make it, so let's say that there is a uh, something that you can get through a, um, through like an in store so let's say you had a gun in the store and you also have that same gun as a game pass we're basically going to make it so that you don't get two guns you're only going to have um one of those guns at all times so basically the game pass would be useless reminder i'm going to show you both ways so if you want duplicates i'll show you this way if you don't want duplicates i'll show you this way all right so basically what you have to do all right and it's going to be really tough to explain this considering i don't have a game pass set up all right, so I'm just going to use a sample game pass. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a variable and we're going to claim the ID of our game pass. All right, and I'm just going to go with that one. That's one that I have in my coding example. I used it in the past, but uh, in the past, but um, I hope that this will work. So now what we have to do is we have to do local marketplace service. And excuse me for my poor, uh, poor syntax there. Just marketplace service is supposed to be probably capital, but I'm going to keep it like that. Uh, marketplace service okay so basically in order to run a service we first have to get that service and then when we do that we now have access to all of its built-in functions all right so now next I'm gonna say local players is equal to game get service players because once again we're gonna be using our players here in this case so we need to use players finally we need to use server storage all right this is where we're gonna be storing our tools so we're gonna say game get service server storage now Here's a pretty important, uh, then I'm also gonna say local in-game equals true. I don't know why I need that. No, I definitely don't need that. I don't even know why I put that. I think that was a uh, an old script that I did that I just don't need. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, okay. So here's an important concept that I'm sure that no one has really explained it that well, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain it really quick. There's something that we have that's called game.players.playeradded connect function player. Okay, so what this script basically does is that it runs the script as soon as someone joins the game. That's as soon as a player joins the game. So it will only run once. Okay, this will only run once. That's when the player joins the game. Now, what happens when you want it so that a player, when they die, they still have that item? Well, there's two different things with that, that's associated with our character. That's what's called the player and the character. Our player spawns in once. It has the data, it has our user ID and all that good stuff, whereas the character spawns in multiple times. So that's each time we join in the game, we run it, and each time we die, we run it. And to do that, we do player, it's a character added, connect function character. So what this basically does is that it says, okay, whenever the player dies, run this. Whenever the player joins in the game, run this. You know, so it's kind of like a case that not a lot of people actually know of, at least to my knowledge. Like, I've had a lot of students ask me, like, oh, you know, how do you tell when, when, you know, someone dies? Well, we use player.character added connect function character. There's, there's also humanoid.died, and that's a Boolean statement. But, we, but we'll just stick to this for now, okay? So this will basically tell if your character added. Um, this will basically tell when you die. So, I mean, for example, uh, you could do in a data store, you could set it equal to one at first. And when the player joins the game, you subtract one and then it'll be working. Or I'm sorry, start at negative one, player joins the game, you add one. So then they'll be at zero when they join the game. Totally do that. Not recommended, but totally do it. So we're going to start off with local has pass equals false. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that you could put it up here too, but we're just going to keep it down here for now. And now we need our humanoid. Now, basically what our humanoid is, basically all we're going to do is that we're going to use our humanoid to uh, prompt the game pass. All right, so um, maybe not, I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. I'm kind of doing it on the fly here. I don't really have a reference, but we're just gonna go ahead, character, find first child, humanoid. All right, very cool. And then I'm gonna do um, has, pa has pass is equal to marketplace service. And now basically what this is, is that I started off with has pass equals false. That's basically just a Boolean statement just to kind of set it up. You don't need the equals false. You can just do that if you want. I'm just going to set it equal to false so that they don't spawn in, uh, automatically spawn in with it right away. So I'm going to do has pass is equal to marketplace service. 
And now there's a built-in function in Roblox called user owns game pass async. All this basically says, I know it's a really, really long, uh, really, really long uh, word, but really it just checks to see if this player, which by the way, this is what's called a, this is going to be an integer value. So you can't just do player. It'll say like, oh, error, attempt to, you know, index, um, you know, instance with you with int 64 or something like that. We need user ID, player dot user ID. All right. And now finally, we need the pass ID. So basically what we're saying is that, hey, check if this player has this game pass ID. Okay. So it checks to see. All right. Uh, whoops, over here, capital P, my apologies. Ah, not that, there we go. All right, so that's all it says. And now basically what we say here, if has pass equals equals true, because remember, this is a Boolean statement right here, okay? This is either gonna return true or false. Okay, so if the player has the pass, it's gonna return true. If the player doesn't have the pass, it's gonna return false. So let's say they do have the pass. All right, all I'm gonna say, is that we're going to get our first tool. So I'm going to say local tool is equal to game server storage or game dot server storage dot. I don't know. Let's go visit our toolbox. That's very unsafe. I'm going to type, just type in gun. You know, uh, 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 we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, yeah, why not trench gun? And I'm going to put it inside of server storage. Okay. So basically game dot server storage dot trench gun. All right. So that's our tool. And now all we're going to do is just say tool dot parent is equal to player dot backpack and that's it all right so what this will do is this will only uh this will clone our tool into the player's backpack all right and this will happen each time they die all right it's not going to make a duplicate because when someone dies everything inside of them eventually gets destroyed and then they create a new character okay so basically you won't be getting like when you die you'll get two when you die you'll get three when you die you'll get four you'll always have one okay now for the most important part of the video, how do we make it so that there's no duplicates? So let's say I have a trench gun inside of our starter pack and a trench gun inside of our server storage. Well, basically before, before we go ahead and put this in our inventory, we're simply just gonna check both our backpack and our character using fur IV in pairs, okay? And then basically what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say game.players. Uh, no, I'm just gonna say player dot backpack get children. Do. And like I said, I'm just going on the fly here. I have no clue what I'm typing, but I'm guessing that it'll work. Alright, so for IV and pairs, player dot backpack get children. So this will give us all of the items in the uh this will give us all of the items in the backpack. Now v dot name uh, uh, uh i'm sorry if v dot name equals equals tool dot name then break uh break we're gonna do that all right so basically what we're gonna do here is that as soon as we see the tool dot name or i'm sorry as soon as we find that same exact tool in our backpack we're gonna break out of the loop but before that i think i'm gonna do local has uh, uh 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 i'm gonna go up here and say local has duplicate equal uh duplicate equals false and i'm gonna set over here has duplicate equals true okay and basically what i'm gonna say if has duplicate equals equals false then uh so if they don't have a duplicate we're just gonna say tool uh tool clone uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't talk. Uh, basically, all we're going to say is that we are going to go ahead and do pretty sure that we clone the tool, then we put it in the backpack. So what, all we do is uh, I'm definitely missing a step here. Yeah, I forgot to do clone here. And now tool dot, uh, tool dot parent is equal to player dot backpack. Else. Uh, actually, no, that's it. And now that'll do it and it'll check each time so basically what it'll do first is it'll be like okay here's my tool right it's the clone of it so it's gonna take the names trench gun and let's say I had like three other weapons in my in our inventory you know I don't know I'm just gonna copy and paste this but I'm just gonna rename them paste 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 rename to I don't know gun one rename this one to you know gun two it's gonna be like okay let me check out this player's backpack and say these are all in the backpack all right so it's gonna be like hmm Okay, v.name is equal equal to tool.name. Does gun1 equal trench gun? No, it doesn't. 
let's move on to the next one. All right, very cool. Let me check. Gun two is equal equal to tool. Is gun two equal equal to trench gun? No. Okay, cool. Next one. If B dot. Uh, all right. So if trench gun is equal equal to trench gun. Okay. Then there's a duplicate. We break out of the loop, and it basically ends the script there. Okay. And it'll keep running each time you reset. All right. So uh, we set has duplicate equal to false up here, assuming that there isn't a duplicate. But we check down here. Okay, and then that should basically be the end of the script. Let me just make sure that we run it to make sure I don't have any errors. Um, it's probably going to be like, oh, you don't have this game pass. Something like that. Oh, no, no errors. Very nice. All right, and like I said, I put a script inside of our server script server so that it checks. All right, so just to go through it one more time, when the player joins, when the character loads, we set these two equal to false. We say we declare a humanoid. I don't think that we need it. We don't even need it. But goodbye. And uh, basically what we do here is that we check to see if they have the game pass. If they do have the game pass, perfect. We create a clone of the tool. We check to see if there is already a tool by that name in our backpack. They don't have, if they don't have it in the backpack, we don't do it. Or I'm sorry, if they don't have it in the backpack, we put it in their backpack. If they do, we don't do anything. Because has duplicate will equal true, as we see here. All right? And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not going to test it because, like I said, I don't have a game pass for this. If you guys run into any issues, just let me know and I'll go ahead and re-upload. Okay? Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon.